Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new piece of intelligence that Apple added with the new iOS 16 update. I did do a video earlier this week on how to install the iOS 16 public beta if you wanna install it for yourself but it is still in beta, so there are still a lot of bugs and glitches. Um, so just keep that in mind before updating. But yeah, if you wanna update that, I'll have a little bit, that video linked in the eye up top for you guys, so you can quickly go ahead and just find out how you can install it for yourself. With iOS 15, we got the feature of live text, which allowed your phone to be able to detect text in photos. So you can easily copy text from any photo and paste it to wherever you want, or just get more information about whatever it is in your photos. You also now in iOS 16 have the option to copy text out of videos as well, which is also very cool. But now something that's along the same lines as this, but actually completely different that Apple introduced with iOS 16 is the ability for your phone to detect the subject in your photos and basically separate it from the background so you can pick it up out of the photo and then you can share it with anyone. So how this basically works is you go to any photo that easily distinguishes the subject from the background. Not all your photos will work, but you'll easily be able to figure out which ones will work and which ones won't. Then you just hold down on the subject and then it will kind of make this sticker effect and then it, you can pick it up basically and then you can with your phone share it anywhere so you can just swipe to messages and go ahead and just paste it in a message or you can go ahead and save it to files if you want to you can just use it in a sticker somewhere um, there are so many things you can do with this but it's so cool this kind of goes hand in hand with the new iOS 16 lock screen update where it detects the subject in your lock screen and then it can easily nestle the time between your subject and your background. So it gives it more of a depth effect. So that's also something that they introduced with iOS 16 um, that kind of uses the same intelligence that is with these photos that it picks up the subject. It's a very nice feature. I recommend you guys test it out if you have iOS 16 on your device. It's very cool and I think this will be very helpful. Um, and just a fun thing to, you know, try out. But yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this feature and what you'll be personally using it for. If you did enjoy this video and found it interesting, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And definitely subscribe for more iOS 16 videos. There are a lot more coming. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 16 related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.